I know I had a great time too. And we we seem to be on the same page, you know. We we like the same things. We have the same goals in life. We have the same aspirations. I think together we we can create something really special. Oh, no, no, you're amazing. No, stop it. Oh, oh, right, okay, that's not what you meant. Okay, well, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see you again. Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, whenever, whenever you're free, you know? It's absolutely fine. Yeah, okay. No, you hang up. No, you... Oh. I'm a little excited now. Just had a first date, so... With our new owners. Stan's not going to like how quickly I've moved on, is he? I can't believe it. Literally two weeks later, sack looms over munch. They're going to let me go. In all fairness, I've had quicker relationships. Comes at a very weird time considering that we're not actually doing too bad. I say that. Since the last time we met, we, we've lost twice more in the league to Brighton and Wolves. But other than that, it's been pretty good. We are out of the Canberra Cup. We lost to Spurs in that one. We beat in Stoke. We beat in Ajax. We beat in Bristol City. We beat in Birmingham. We beat in not Watford. We beat in Fenerbahce and Bournemouth. Drew with Watford, Drew with Burnley, which has left us in ninth position in the league. We are slowly gaining back on the teams above. Seven points off the top four at the moment. Let's not worry about how far we are beyond Manchester United. They are the runaway leaders at the moment, and we're just not going to catch them. Okay, we just have to accept it. Premier League is over for this season. Champions League, however, still very much alive, because we get to play Milan in February of next year, just after the United game, so I think we all know what that episode's going to be. But, let's not focus on that. Today we are focusing all on the Manchester City doubleheader over Christmas. Boxing Day and the 28th. We only have two, well, we don't even have two days to recover. We have one day to recover, so two games in three days. It's going to be pretty impressive. I'm not actually on match day, again. Now it's Christmas Day, and I'm answering emails. The wife's going to be fuming. I don't actually have a wife for anyone that's actually interested or worried. If you want to be, then get to know me first. So we're actually on a six game unbeaten run, which I don't think is too bad. We qualified top of our Champions League group, so that is done and dusted. And ultimately, we've been playing a little bit better recently, and I've kind of settled now on a nice starting 11. We've just got to make sure that we continue to churn out these results as United get beaten 4-0 by Spurs. I mean, this is going to be the worst thing, is if we finally have a really poor year and Spurs have a really good one, oh, ideally, we'd finish above them. That's got to be the aim this year, is we try and catch up the Spurs and finish above them. The problem is this year is that, apart from United, the rest of it is all completely open at the moment. Everyone else can beat anybody else this year. There are lots of teams up there that probably shouldn't be. Brighton are up there. Wolves are up there. You know, Chelsea have suddenly come out of nowhere. Burnley are up there. It's very hit and miss this year. So this is a team that's kind of given us a bit of a good turn of form recently, and we're going to stick with it as we go. Donnarumma's in goal. Tierney, Milenkovic, Wood, and Bellerin make up the back four. Ayer has now dropped to the bench uh, in place of Milenkovic. He's having a pretty decent season at the moment. Uh, Torreira and Simba Bentley are now on midfield too. Bentley is now up to a four-star player. He's having a really good breakout season, as you can tell, playing at 7.8 overall, playing very, very well as we stand. Pepe is back in on the right. Ahmad is in the centre. Jaden Sancho is finally hitting some element of form, up to a 7 overall rating, which isn't too bad. And then Bobby Firmino leading the line today has been complaining about a lack of football. I promised him a little bit more because Fabio is not quite hit the world light, although he's been very good recently and he's had an injury, so I'm trying to ease him back into the team, which has given Bobby a little run in the team, and to be fair to him, he's done pretty well. I mean, looking at their team, it's still absolutely phenomenal, and they've got a player called Sabia up front who looks just ridiculously good. They've signed him from INT, whoever they are. International, I'd hazard a guess. They've got Dybala, they've got Mbappe, they've got Havertz, De Bruyne, I mean, that team is sensational. Let's not worry about it too much. If I look at it more, I begin to feel a bit sick. And we got to play them twice today as well. I'm going to say, this is a great opportunity to show the critics that are wrong. Go out there and show them what we're made of. And that's got a lot of the players fired up there. Like I said, there's people here that are kind of gunning for me at the moment. And I need to put a stop to that. I've had a very tumultuous relationship with some of the players this year. We've had arguments, we've had fights, team meetings have been had. Some have not gone right, some have gone very well. It's all been a little bit hit and miss. Today, ultimately, if I can take four points... 
from today's couple of fixtures, even two points, I'd be really, really happy. Ideally, six would be great. But if I was to be honest, if I can get four, I'd be really, really pleased as we have another highlight here. And Wood plays the ball out to Bellerin. We've looked a little bit more like our old selves. That's a great ball in by Bellerin to Pepe. The reunited Pepe hits it and Edison makes a great save. It's been good to have Bellerin, Bellerin and Pepe back in with each other. Because um, remember in the first couple of seasons, those two are absolutely on fire together. So it's nice to get them a bit reunited, even though it's a little bit later on in the save. As Bobby Fino keeps the ball in and sometimes I wish that he hadn't. Because now City are on the break again with Dybala. And uh, that is a that's a foul. I think it's safe to say from Bellerin there. Don't don't book him. Oh. Great tackle by Lucas Torreira. Bellerin to Wood. And we're playing the ball around nicely here. We're getting for a lot of bodies forward and committing brilliant play from Pepe. It's good to see him back at his best. Pepe hits it. What a goal by Nicolas Pepe. Get in. It's one nil after a quarter of an hour, and we have scored a lot of early goals so far. And we've proceeded to then go and concede. We're not very good from a concentration point of view, but that is a sensational goal by Nicolas Pepe. Got to be candidate for goal of the season or goal of the month. Absolutely leaves his man for dead and rifles a shot past Edison. Angelino is being shown up completely here. Get in. Yes, Nicolas. Ginger Magician, Kevin De Bruyne whips in. Stones heads it clear. Florentino Luis, he's found De Bruyne so much space. Bellerin's not making any effort to get back there. That's really poor from him. Bernardo Silva to Debar, the great tackle by Simba Bentley, and we're on the break here. We just keep countering City, and Armada, go on, play it through. Armada, that's a great tackle. <gasps> Firmino's in, he's robbed them, Bobby, oh no, 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 that's a terrible miss. Another highlight though, and they all seem to start with City, but we're just countering them to death at the moment. As Reese James gets on the ball, fires it to Bernardo Silva. And that's a brilliant save by Donnarumma. Bernardo Silva's got a pretty good record against us in this save so far. So, got to try and keep him out. And that's good play by us there. Torreira out to Sancho. Can we get on the break again here from their highlight? Sancho, oh, he should have played the ball in the bobby there. That's a superb tackle by Florentino Luis. Absolutely majestic. Oh, oh not like... The amount of times that... Th this is beginning to really, really annoy me now. The amount of times where our defence have gone back and then it's just an under hit pass that's literally probably about the fourth i've conceded in two months this is becoming really annoying because i got pacey defenders and woods just literally just let i mean oh come on i can cope with losing i can't cope with just that do you know what i mean that is pooing on me is what that is do you know what i mean that there is nothing i can tactically do i can fix there's nothing i can do to resolve that and that's what I'm finding really frustrating about this year silly stupid mistakes that you do not expect players in the Premier League to make and we're making them relentlessly and it's so frustrating as Bentley heads clear if they go in 2-1 ahead I'm going to be very disappointed and somehow we've cleared off the line from Bellerin there I mean we're holding on a little bit now towards the end of this half and I'm really annoyed I'm actually going to say it to the boys I'm pleased how things are going keep it up and I'm going to take Nathan Wood off because that's just really it's a I'm not happy, mate. Sorry, Nath, but can't can't be having that. Can't be having that. Christopher Ayer is going to come on for Nathan Wood. I can't tolerate that. I'm sorry. That's it might dent his confidence a bit, but at the moment, like I, I know when a defender makes a mistake in a game, nine times out of ten in FM, it's not going to get any better. The rating's not going to get any better. They're not going to play any better. So. I've had to make that call as Bentley smashes one forward absolutely aimlessly to nobody there. I'm going to try and hold off to the hour mark and I think Fabio Silva's just going to, definitely going to need an introduction here as Sancho drives away from his man. Come on, Jane, you've been really poor today, mate, against your old team. Brilliant ball from him there, though, to Bobby. And it's a brilliant save by Edison. He's got to score that. You've got to be finishing that. And actually, you know what? I've had enough of it. I'm going to bring on Fabio Silva. He's got to try and regain his place back as the number one player, well, the number one striker in this team at the moment. He's not really cutting the mustard, but Milenkovic plays a good bit of play there, and it's unlucky. Just needed a better delivery. Do not catch us out. Mbappe's in. This is concerning. Mbappe, we've done well. Well played, Hector Bellerin. He's done really well on a yellow card yet, not to get himself sent off. We have more. I know that it's weird, but I know that we're doing well, and it's 1 1. There's more here. De Bruyne's gone off, which is good news, and Sander Berg's come on, which is less good news, and we've managed to head it clear as Berg now into Mbappe, tackle him, great block, Dybala on the ball, get out to him, not too much though, Berg whips it in, great header by Ayer, now, counter, 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 Sancho, great ball, Nicolas Pepe, away you go, Pepe, great play, go on, release Fabio, 
Pepe, he has Fabio, not quite, Pepe, oh, he's got another one, it's two, Nicolas Pepe is back in amongst the goals, what a finish, what a player, oh god, I've missed, he's the answer, what have I been doing, I've got the key, Pepe's the secret, I mean, that is absolutely top draw, it's a pot shot, Edison's going one way, Pepe hits it the other, he can't get back to it, these are not dance moves, or are they, who gives a monkeys, what a goal, come on, my job is on the line here, and Pepe, my man, we've been through so much together, he is turning it on today, of all days, yes. And now the thing is, is that I need to keep him fresh for the next game. Pepe is going to come off. Pedrinho is going to come on. He's not going to like it, Pepe. But I need him fresh for the game at the Emirates. Because Pedrinho can probably come in and fill in another position. But there is only one Nicolas Pepe. He's so direct. And I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it because it's going to ruin it. But I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to say. End product. Bellerin on the ball now. If we can make it three here, I'll be absolutely delighted. Remember, they're fourth from the table, so this is going to be a big win for us if we can hold on to this. As Pedrinho hits it, bends it just wide. It's that right-hand channel. We've psyched out Angelino. We've isolated him. He's not been able to cope with us today down that right-hand side. Anything that's come down there, we have had chances. Reno down the ball, down the down the ball, down the line. Bernardo Silva plays it inside. Savi has got away. He dinks it. Aya clears it. Only as far as but that is absolute. I can't do it. Oh, come on. Please, give it a rest. Kylian Mbappe scored. And it's just like... Any time I have some... like I can have five minutes of joy. How's this gone in? I mean, that is an absolute world-class finish. We've only got five minutes left. And I, I just get the impression they're going to win this. So don't foul him. Great ball by, blocked by Kieran. It's here, there, and everywhere. This is the second game in a row where I've conceded a last-minute winner through some sheer bollocks. I've had some hard times in FM at the moment. How is that? He's he's deflected that, and it's gone off his foot, which is pointing that way. Hits his toe. Should go over there. No. Curls back in. Round the keeper. It's just... The game hates me. It just hates me at the moment. Anything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. We, we've done so well. Don't do this. 4-2. We've conceded three goals in the last 10 minutes. I can't do anything. I cannot do anything right. I take Pepe off. I have a little bit of future plan thinking, right, I need him for next week. Suddenly, all goes to shit. I'm not happy with the performance. I'm in trouble. I'm in serious trouble. I'm in so, so much trouble. I need money and I need to go and sign a centre back. I need to sign defenders because at the moment the, the defence that did us so well last year has completely fallen apart. I is playing like a clown. Milenkovic is obviously a clown. It's all it just could not go much worse than it is right now. And it's about to because we're about to play City Bell at home. And if we lose that, I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're back again. I'm gonna go with the. I'm not gonna go the same. Uh, can I really afford to take Aya off? I mean, those two literally just conceded. I'm gonna go with it. Let's just go with Aya and Milankovic because Nathan Wood pissed off, pissed me off in the last game because he was shit. And Bobby Firmino didn't play exactly that well either. So Fabio is gonna come back in and just. What's the point? They've slightly mixed up the team, but not by much. Oh, good. Sion Gundawan's playing. He always plays well against me, so this is gonna be fun. I'm I'm sorry. I I'm trying to get myself all positive and up, you know, and up for it and stuff. But I'm just, what's the point? I can't do anything right at the moment. The team can't do anything right. Anytime I think we're getting somewhere, we're not. It, it, it literally at the moment is. This is the hardest period I've ever had, on, for definitely in a YouTube saver football manager. And probably in football manager in general, this is uh, usually once I get ahead of a steam and I've got a good squad, I kick on. Not often I've ever gone backwards in a save, <coughs> but this year there's backwards, and then there's this. This is a complete falling apart. I, I, I'd hate to say it, but that was the first game where I kind of had a bit of belief when we, we took the lead. And I thought, you know what, we might actually just get through this. As Bentley nearly scores, J Jaden sent. Get off. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. 
Get out of my face, you stupid donkey. How has he missed that? Literally two yards and he's missed it. His career's done. He's done. He's done here. I'm done with him. I'm going to sell him in January. I'm going to get my funds back. Done with him. I'm absolutely done with him. I've had enough. You've had your chance. Piss off. Mbappe is coming on goal. It's because I can't afford players like Kylian Mbappe as he nearly bends one in there. And it's just like they've just got so much talent to call upon. And I've just got nonsense. And that is my own fault. I'm the one that signed all these clowns. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. Now we're at the break. It's been awful. Really, apart from Jane Sancho missing an absolute sitter. I'm going to say I'm pleased with the way things are going. We have dominated the game. Bentley's playing well as always. But he's absolutely running on fumes. So, and brilliant. Pedrinho, who I bought on for Jane Sancho, has now managed to injure himself because he's always injured. Lucas Torreira, great ball. Bellerin is in. Right, now, do not... Oh, okay, shoot. Go on then, Hector. Great save by Edison. Better. I will take a 1-0. I will take any kind of win. I do not give a stuff how it comes. Can we please just get a 1-0 or something of that ilk? Almada on the ball. Whips it in. How have we not got to that? Bentley, hit it. We're playing really well. Like, we're, we're in games. And then we just have uh, just a switch. We just turn off and just... Pepe's going to come off. Progenio's staying on. Pepe's going to come off. Roberto Firmino's coming on. I'm going to play Fabio Silva as an, as an inverted winger because he can apparently play out there. So why not? Maybe it's better taking him out of the firing line and putting him up there than it is anywhere else. As Angelino darts forward. I need to get it up against that bloody right-hand wing. Because that's where we're having all the luck in the game that the Etty had. And I'm just sensing a goal here as Mbappe gets the ball. There's the difference. There's the difference. Kylian Mbappe, 100 and whatever million. Smashed it in the top corner. Jaden Sancho, four yards out. Mr. Set. I don't even really want to watch it. I feel sick. What do I do? You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to make a real, real call. Cool. We're going the diamond. I'm going to take Pedrinho off. Mortolaro is going to come on. We're going diamond. I am enjoying the save, but I'm getting really annoyed because now, look, there will be no more highlights now. It's becoming predictable, and that's where I get annoyed. It's not like it's something I don't expect. I expect us to have pretty much most of the highlights, then miss them all. They get one chance. They score it. It's been the story of the entire save. It's been the story of this season. It's just bollocks, all of it. Torreira on the ball to Mortolaro. Come on, there's got to be Fabio. How have you not managed to beat... You were the other side of him. And you just let him roll you. It's the fact that they don't make the shitty mistakes. I've not seen one of them do a pass like Nathan Wood did in the last game. Like, there's no mistakes from the, the opposition. And it just doesn't feel fair. That's a great tackle by Mortolaro. Go on, son! Mortolaro, please! Yay! Get in! <coughs> oh, God, I've made myself ill. Mortolaro has scored in the 92nd minute. He robs Sian of the ball. He's given me so many problems. This boy is the future. It's magic for Mortolaro. He dances forward. Can he finish? You bet he can. He absolutely spanks it into the far corner. It might not be a win, but we're going to take a sodding draw. I will take that. They had one flipping chance and they scored it. Get in, Mortolaro. Yes. It's still not great. We've only taken one point from two games. But there's a nice-ish run of fixtures coming up. And this is where we need to capitalise. Mortolaro, maybe the diamond is the way to go. Maybe I just need to commit more men forward. I have no idea. I have now. As long as I'm still here, I have a huge window coming up. I need to ask for some money. I'm going to sell Jaden Sancho. I need some money in. And I need to make some transfers. Because there is no way on earth some of these players deserve to wear the Arsenal shirt at the moment. And I'm going to have a massive January ahead of me. We'll come back for the United and Milan game, so I'm going to have the whole of January to myself to sit down and have a go and have a proper window where hopefully I can address some issues. Big names will be going, and I'm hoping that some big names will be coming in. The problem I've got now is can I attract them to a team that's 10th in the Premier League? I don't know. Let's hope. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I should be doing in the comment section other than moving on to a different club because I'm ruining the beloved Arsenal. Um, it's going to get better. I promise. I hope. Thanks so much for watching. Until I see you in the next episode. Stay cool.